Ah, hello, welcome back to Shake the Box Plays Ukulele. My name is Patrick, and we're going to be playing some ukulele today, if you haven't figured that out yet. I know exactly where to go. I don't know what's on the other side of this tube, but now that we have the power of invincibility, we should be able to make it across the poison goop. So I was complaining, oh, it smells in here, we need protection. Well, I do have a method of becoming invincible. <laughs> Watch it, Yuka, the air here is more toxic than your old shorts. Cough. Let's get some protection. Well, I've got some protection for you. Okay, hit the right button. No, but don't. Oh, God. Okay. I screwed it up. We can't ride up the walls. But I think this is the correct approach, yes. And it looks like there's butterflies we have to collect on the way. Oh, no. Oh no. Butterflies, save me! Butterfly in the sky! <laughs> no. Could you guys get a move on a golf plan? Well, you know what? I don't know where you are. I don't know where the final mission is supposed to take place, but here we go. We got an extra pagey for free. I thought this was going to be like a side path into the main boss area, but I guess it is not. So, I suppose we'll just move on. We've been over here, right? We've been over here, and this was not the way to go, if I remember correctly. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go this way anyways, because i got to figure out what the heck we're supposed to do now. Yeah, that's just a thing. What's over here? Ah, okay, so there is the Galleon Galaxy world I remember now. Hmm. There's a door here. I don't think we can get inside the door, although it looks like there's a fan system. Oh, hello. I've asked my secretary to clear my schedule. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be actual, actual information regarding that fan, but maybe I need to go over here. Let's let my energy meter recharge. Oh, what's this? There's lights. Lights generally tell me where to go. No, I think that's a shortcut. Hmm. So here is the duck entrance, and here is the capital B entrance, the elevator. Oh, I guess we can just go right in. There's nothing saying that we can go right in, but there's a press the A button right here. So here we go. Uh, 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 mm, knock, knock. Uh, 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 no, we don't need our drive term. Oh, it's uh, you. How did you make it all this way past my corporate creations? <laughs> we walked past most of them. Had to whack one or two, though. Yeah. Quack, you foul fool. I told you we should have invested in that private military portfolio. Anyway, now that you are here, fancy coming up for a cup of get the heck off my proper tea? Yes, please, with a slice of give me my book back. Well, my office open door policy is closed unless you've collected, say, a hundred pages. Look, sir, they've collected a ton of pages for the one book. Maybe we should let them come up. Quack, stop winking at me. I'm flattered, but once bitten twice. Oh, yes, you too. Well done on the pagey quest. How many do we have? 31. <laughs> no, we have more than that. We have 106 at 145, but we have 31 left. Why don't you come up and attempt a hostile takeover of your precious book? <laughs> so I guess this is the end of the game elevator. I don't know if there's going to be any more pages up here, but, you know, let's, let's do it. Let's fight the final boss. Don't, don't, don't do, like, a question thing again. Oh, cr crying out loud, are you kidding me? Welcome to the bonus round. As always, I'm your host, Dr. Quack. What? You said we were finished with the quizzes. I lied. As usual, there are ten questions that need answering correctly, and only three lives. And watch out, contestants, these questions are extra tough. Ma ha ha. The picture, which world does it show? There's five worlds, but there's multiple areas in each world. 
I'm gonna say galaxy. No, I was thinking it could be like a, an alien tree or something, but I guess not. The crook salesman trouser. What was the first move he taught you? I have no idea. It's like some weird attack thing. The roll? No. Look, it's been a while. Uh, you can't skip the dialogue either. <laughs> Let me skip the dialogue at least. Fraudulent salesman trouser. Oh, he really likes trouser. What does he claim to have named after him? I have no idea. The clothing line. Probably currency now that I think about it because he's involved in sales. Oh, what a shame! You appear to have run out of lives! You have to go back to the beginning, oh no, of the game, oh no. Yeah, I know I have to go back to the start. Let me skip the dialogue, game developers! Alright, let's try that again. I suppose you'll be wanting to try again, eh? <laughs> Let me skip! Oh, I could skip that line of dialogue, okay. Oh, I can't skip anymore. The Crook Salesman Trouser, what was the first move he taught you? Well, it's not the roll, so it's gonna be something else. Uh, I'm gonna say Tail Twirl, that's, yeah, that sounds about right. Just like the X spin attack. God, why do they make these multiple choice? Double curse is a super quick correct answer. I think super quick correct answers is how they do it so that you can just skip ahead a little bit more quickly and not have to do these quite so much. Pagey's legal property of Hiver Towers. How many do you have in total? 31 or 104? 106 probably. I don't have the 31, or I don't have like 60 of them, but it's either 31 or like 104. And 106 is close enough. Capital Kishino. How many tiles are on the tile match game? I'm gonna say 16, because that's about correct. It's a square, so it's either gonna be 4, 9, 16, or 25. That's, uh, that's an easy one. You don't even have to know, you just have to think, oh, what's the number squared? The World with Gambling Games. What is its correct name? You just said it! Capital Kishino! These are the worst questions of all time. Where is this alien tree? Oh, I mean, there's alien trees everywhere. And your frickin' next question is, Capital Casino, what's the name of Capital Casino? The ridiculous Reptilia Rexro, what color are his shoes? I'm gonna say white. I mean, there, there was a trick question answer. I have to have the trick question response. I don't know if it was green or red, but hey, he doesn't wear shoes. That sounds like a nice answer. Oh my god. You'll be the real loser in fighting the boss. Yeah, whatever. As long as I'm done with you and never have to do this stupid questionnaire again. Hey, caramba. The duck beat me here. Finally, I was about to stick my out of office on and hit the golf course. Can't skip. I'm Yuka. And this is Layla. And we're here to take our book back. Yeah. Metal Gear. I know who you are, you green goon. You're the pair who have been collecting the magical pages for me. And now you've delivered them right into my hands. Fools! <laughs> Allowing you to complete your adventure. It's been terribly tough. But now it's time to end it for good and complete our sinister scheme. He gave me pages. If you want these pages, you'll have to take them from us. Very well. Hostile negotiations, it is. Try to keep up, freaks. <laughs> I 
I don't really want to talk to him, so I'm just gonna explore the office really quickly. Hey. Anything I can climb on? I'm just, just want to look around. Any secrets behind his chair? No. Well, we're gonna have to talk to you. Duck down! Duck down! Fetch my pillow full of duck down! Oh. There's no buttons on the elevator. It just goes up on its own. Oh, you found me. <laughs> Idiot. I can't believe you followed me to my personal pulverization chamber. Is that what the kids are calling it these days? It said stationary cupboard on the elevator buttons. Your time trespassing on our premises is over. Incredi duo. After I've made you redundant, the pages will be mine. And using their power, our organization will rewrite the universe. <laughs> Prepare to witness my impressive short term growth. Crowdfunded corporate creep. He's just like slightly bigger. <laughs> that tonic wasn't on Venny's menu. Let's teach this guy a lesson, Laylee. Oh, God. Do I have to, like, bounce it back at him, maybe? Oh, no, he's a bee. What are we doing? He's a bee again. Okay, so he, he pulls out his wings, and he flies around, and then he throws a bee thing at me. Do I have to, like, knock it back at him, like... Oh, I don't know. What am I supposed to do here? If I just wait a second, the bees disappear. Like, do I actually have to, like, go hit him? Yeah, hit him. Just hit him. Yeah, don't make him do contact damage after you hit him. We should go away after a second. Okay, so then we leave. Ooh, don't hit me. You jerk. I wonder if I can just do the, uh... That to dispel them, yeah. Just don't get hit by the bomb. Yo, what? I guess he was not... Done with his animation. Okay. Let's do one of those. Go to him. I bet what I could do is do the, uh... Not that. Oh, God! I forgot about the explosion. What I could do is just do this. That kind of work. Ouch! Right in my stocks and shares. Quack, you foul fool. Send me up some corporate backup. So in other words, HP. Whatever you do, don't get the corporate crates mixed up with the ammo crates. Ah, so we're gonna be shooting grenades at him, probably? They're on their way up, sir, fresh off the production line. Oh, you jerk, I was charging. That's not what I wanted to do. Come, stop it! I just wanted to do this to really easily kill you guys quickly. This also doesn't seem to be any uh, HP here. Come on. Is there really no HP? 
Yo, I guess if I'm too close, you're just gonna do that, huh? Push the box out of the way, you jerk. I'm gonna get this guy. You have HP? No one has HP! Oh my god. Comment this game is sometimes a little awkward. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was gonna be honey! I almost jumped into it. Like, these guys don't give me anything. No HP. Normally when there's corporate minions on a fight, they're there to allow you to regenerate a little bit of HP. This guy, there's nothing. Yo, there's too many! <laughs> and apparently the roll dash doesn't actually kill him at all. Alright, whatever, let's do it again. Feel a little bit cheated there. Don't play the action again, okay, good. Right. No, just, you know what? Be invincible. So whenever he gets up, get away from him. Don't let the bomb hit. One of those. One of those. It will hit you with your staff if you get too, if you get too close to him, so be careful of that. Where are you going? You're going this way. Easy enough now that I figured out the, uh, the general pattern here. And now that I remembered what the buttons are for everything. <laughs> I might as well do that while I'm charging him, just in case he gets his staff out and hits me with it. Alright. Don't bother fighting the minions either, or at least get the crate first, because apparently they don't do anything. And I need to be more careful about where I jump. Take a sec. Oh god, get out of here. Recharge. Gotta pay a little bit more attention to what's going on in the fight. Oh come on! I was so close to him. Get out of the get out of town. I don't want to be over here. This is way too close. This is fine. If I just keep running in a circle, maybe maybe this is what I need to do. Just keep going. Eventually he'll stop flying around like a big old bee. I get it. He's he is a bee. I didn't realize he was a bee. I thought it was just capital B, like uh, capital letter. I don't know. I didn't realize he was a bee. Okay, it makes sense now. So the little dudes, if you just keep running in a circle, don't really matter all that much. Guess we'll just keep doing this for a while until he decides to be done with this attack phase. Explosion in this game. Everything explodes. It is invincible. It hurts you. We're done. Here's a loading sequence. Time to take this boardroom struggle to the next level. Quack! Activate the wall and roof lasers. Okay. The buttons all look so similar. Quack, you bird brain. Oops! Mm, I think I hear the phone ringing. I best go answer it. Okay, so what is this? It's a big camera is what it is. I see, I see, I see, I see! Give me a second to like, be able to jump over it. Okay, so don't, don't attack him. Oof, heavy landing. Okay. 
Now we hit him. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Grr, time to invest some more toxic ooze and increase your shareholding and pain. Can I just, like, fly out of here? Nope. <laughs> jump, jump, jump. Get out of here. All right, you know what? Let's, let's stop doing this. No! Oh, my God. The buttons. Oh, the buttons. I'm so bad at the buttons right now. <laughs> I'm completely screwing it up. No, it's right trigger Y for the invincibility. Oh, I see. A lot more of these shockwaves. Now we hit him. Hit him in the butt. I hope at some point I can get a little bit of HP back. Now it's our moment. This isn't so bad. Honestly, a smaller arena is not doing all that much. I can see we're going to have to do this a few more times, though. Ah, uh, You know what? No. Oh, shit. There's just no time! No! Wrong button! It's this one! Oh, my God. Keep hitting the wrong button. I'm gonna do this again. You types never learn. You always end up taking yourselves down. Oh God, don't fall in the pit. Just for a second, I'm just gonna do this so I know what's happening in the fight. Okay, it's just a missile. Should I just, like, stay put? Like, getting invincibility seems pretty nice here. You just wait a sec for the recharge on the skill. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I hit the button twice, and I deactivated the invincibility. Because I hit it once, and then it didn't activate, and then I hit it again, and then it activated. Come here. Gotta be careful with the explosions, though. I'm doing something wrong. We gotta, like, get the missile to hit him. Do I just let the missile go for a while? Oh, I just jumped in the lava. Let's start again. Oh, I hate these types of fights. Come on, game. Oh, okay. Do it again. It's that button for that attack. Run away, camera. That. Okay, Capital B, you're going down. You're going down. Oh, you know what I should do? Be invincible, and then the, or invisible, and then the missile will target him because there's no targets. Mm. Be like, no, don't come at me, you stupid missile. I like that idea. I like that idea. So at this part, like actually attacking those guys, that's a red herring. Go. I could wait for him to do a more multiple attacks, it looks like. But might as well just kind of hit him as soon as you can. Ugh. That's like three shots. That's four shots. I'm curious how many it takes now. 
Five shots. Six shots. Seven shots. Yeah, the minions, they don't do anything. They are actually pointless on this fight. They don't give you any HP, which would be nice from the player's perspective. It's like eight shots. Oh yeah, I was way too close. That's my bad. Don't get that close. Also, sometimes they seem to explode in the air, which is a bit dangerous. I guess he's throwing them wherever you are at the moment. So if he's throwing them at the ground, they explode at the ground. If he's throwing them at the air, they explode in the air. Okay, let's not screw up the buttons on this phase, by the way. Left trigger Y for the sonic boom. Right trigger Y for the invincibility. Oh, I hear you think I hear the phone ringing. <laughs> All right. It would have been nice if when they introduced this part of the attack phase, they actually just had him, uh, like, do the attack once so you actually could see what's going on. But whatever. Grr, time to invest in more toxic ooze. Alright. I actually do have enough time to do that. For, for now, we might not have enough time later, but... He's like showing us his butt whenever we knock him over. It's kind of weird. And then they just run to the other side of the arena. It's like, well, we're going to stand over here while you do your weird destruction tactics attacks. A tactics. Oh. So there's not going to be any bees, but there will be other explosions. I actually wish I had a, uh, like, an extra second. Oh, God, there's one right here. Extra second in order to just like to get some flying going on like No, actually no, this is fine because I can just kind of do this Can I make him go in the in the goop? Nah, he doesn't go in the goop Wait a second and land perfect landing That's what I was thinking <laughs> they spawn so far away, the explosions, that by the time they get here, they're like four tiles thick. Alright. Let's stop playing around. Although there are bees. Bees to me mean... Just be invincible. It lasts for a long ass time, and then the bees will go away. Abuse the invincibility. Mm, time for the capital to soar and release some explosive equity. So here I think if I just be invisible, never learn, you always end up taking yourselves down. So we have to get the missiles to hit him. That's a that's a tip. That's a trick. That's a hint. So we let him fire a missile. And it's like, uh, oh, wrong button. Okay, look. I thought it would work. Why wouldn't it not work? Why is it still coming after me? All right, you know what? Let it blow up. We gotta get some energy back. I guess I'm gonna have to fly. So let's make sure we get all of our energy meter back. I'm almost gonna hit him. No. Oh, I tried to get the thing back. Okay, we're gonna do this. Come here. Come here. Oh, yeah. There we go. We can do one more in the time that we have. Just gonna fly around. Oh, yeah, I like this. Okay. Now recharge energy. 
I should definitely have the tonic that makes energy recharge faster. That would make this much easier, because I'd be able to uh, do things much more quickly. Oh, God. I'm waiting for the for the meter to come back, but it's just not enough time with that missile. I have to, like, dodge... I can do two missile attacks, and then I can dodge one. That's what I'm, I'm getting from this. Excuse me. Don't worry, I'm coming back to you. Two at the same time. Oh, and he's flying towards me. No, he's flying around. At the speed of sound. This is awkward. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah there it goes. Jump, 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 jump. Okay. I need, I need a new tonic. That's what I'm learning here. Like, the tonic just doesn't last long enough. Oh, God. And it takes Yuka so long to get the invincibility off. Okay. We're gonna jump. We gotta go to the other side. Here goes the camera. Yes. yes. No, get the other one. Oh, okay, the other miss is coming after me. The, the the finding secrets tonic doesn't seem to work all that well when you're on a, mission, a level that has no secrets. Okay, so right now I'm just gonna tank the missiles because I have enough energy to tank a couple of missiles. It's one, it's two. Let the energy recharge. Hopefully it takes him a minute to do another little attack round here. Now he's just doing it right right, right away. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I really need a new tonic. There's good tonics, like, oh god, oh crap. No! Oh, don't. You just jumped into the goo. Why would you just jump into the goo? I, d I doubt that we're getting that close to the end. These tend to be pretty long boss fights in these types of games, but you never know. I mean, hopefully he's dead, but probably not. He's probably got multiple faces. If you ever played a Mega Man game, you think you'd get to the final boss, and only to realize, ah, oh, dang it! I was only doing my job, you numbskulls. And a poor job at that, Mr. B. The board aren't going to be happy with your performance at all. I should report you. No, wait, I can still win. Don't grass me up. Grass him up? Hold on, I thought Capital B was the boss around here. That's, oh, maybe if it was a private corp company. Oh, he's but a cog in the machine. I'm here to monitor the key facts and trivia, and then present them to the real bosses in easy to digest bullet point form. <laughs> That explains the quiz questions. Anyway, time for talk is over. Feather features. We'll be taking our book back now. Stop, you fools. You have no idea of its true purpose. When Vile gets their hands on it, we'll rule the world. <laughs> Quiet, Mr. B. Remember, it states in our contracts not to disclose secret information to non-employees. No matter, we'll be taking back the one book now and ending your adventure permanently. He's the final boss? He's the super secret final boss? Uh, hello? Is this the first aid room? Blasto, what are you doing here? How did you get in? Oh, oh, oh! Cough, I've got something else stuck in my throat. Cough, I need assistance. Oh no, here it comes! That was unnecessary. You crazy cannon, we were about to wall up that duck and find out all about their secret organization. 
Phew. I'm much better now, thanks. We didn't actually do anything with Blaster, now that I think about it. No harm done, Blaster. At least we finally reclaimed Laylee's book. And ended Ivory Tower's evil scheme for good. Aw, yeah. That magic book's going straight in the safe when I get home. It'll only appreciate in value. Come on, everyone. Let's get back to Shipwreck Creek and celebrate. And roll the end credits. Okay, so that was not as bad of, an, of a length of a fight as I was predicting. Should have definitely gotten a new tonic, though. Faster recharge on the abilities would have been much better, because then I could just actually just constantly be jumping. So there's everybody that we found. Snowmen, the frogs. I haven't done the pigs, so the pigs are probably... Oh, no, they, they're still here. I stole from them. I didn't help them at all. I just stole from the pigs. Also, Rextro is looking all... Oh, he's looking all pixelated. Om nom nom, a grandpa of the young warriors. Nom nom nom. Without mind embarking on a noble quest for more salsa. No cake. I mean, you need salsa for the dips. I think you've had enough. Rextro, he, Rextro looks like he's bugged out, but he's actually fine. So, celebrate the heroic acts of Brave Blasto! Yes, very brave. Very, very brave. Brave? Brave. That loose cannon almost blew our heads off. Kartos, no one invited you! I wonder what, yeah, I wonder what book he landed in. There's no need to worry about him anymore, Kartos. Thanks to Laylee and I, that chapter's been permanently closed. Oh, that swell. Genuine heroes! Almost, I risked my neck finishing this game. Calm down, Lily. I'm sure there will be plenty of time to top up our hero kudos in the future. For now, let's kick back and enjoy the massive credit scroll. There's no, there's no fourth wall left in this game. It's been broken. There is, there's no, there are no walls. All gone. Hey, I can actually freaking uh... go very quickly here. Nice. Oh, okay, I didn't want to hit it that many times. Nice. That was a fun game. That's basically what you want from a uh... A's. Oh my god, we're at the A's. I'm gonna go through them all. Even though it's gonna take a million years. That's basically what you want from a. You know, an adventure game, a collectathon adventure game. Oh, you can just scroll backwards, like, oh, where's my name? Where's my name? Alexis, 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 Alex, 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 Alfie, Alfie, Alfonso, Alan, Amanda, Amy, Andre, Andrew, Andrew. Oh my God! Look at the look at the Andrews. This is just a page of Andrew T's right here. Some of these names are like really long. Like, what is this? Annabelle Hamira's Lucas Y. Jordan Lucas Cano. So that's that's two people, I think. Y is probably and in a non-English language. Animal C4. Anna Akira. Anna, even. Kata, I love you, Dad. Well. <laughs> we just pause it. Oh, so we can speed up, pause, play. Ginger Meat. Somebody named themselves Ginger Meat. So yeah, that was a fun game. I enjoyed it. Um, I wish that enemies didn't have invincibility and a lot of like weird explosions that would hurt you during the explosion animation. But whatever. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think that the boss fight would be so short too, because normally in games like this, you kind of expect there to be like boss fight on top of boss fight with a lot of different mechanics and stuff. Like I re was really hoping that it was be invisible, and then the missile would hit in the enemy because it's like a it's a heat seeking missile. Oh, I'm invisible. You can't see me. 
Missile's like, doot, 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 finding another target. Gonna just blow him up. That didn't happen. That's a little bit unfortunate. I guess it makes sense also that the bees wouldn't attack him because he's a bee. So just being invincible or blowing them away with a sonic boom was the correct answer there. Yeah. Yeah. I think the world design was alright. We had some, uh, some nice variety. I really wish that I could have gotten to the, the glitchy stuff that was kind of floating in the air in Kalyan Galaxy. I tried flying to it and the game just killed me. And there's a lot of backtracking. I, I, I kind of don't like the backtracking. I kind of wish that everything would just be a linear progression of worlds, because going back to the other worlds is fine for just like finishing up your collectibles, but like I, I have to go back to the first world and go into the cavern with the invisibility power up. I've got to go, go into Capital Casino and use some power up that I picked up for, for that. Because there's a couple of pages I didn't collect in there, like there was a, a pipe system area underground, I can't quite remember. But there's, there's, there's just so many areas. Oh, and frickin' um, the freezing world, there's that isometric palace. There's a few things in there I haven't been able to do because we don't have the power-ups, we didn't have the power-ups necessary to do it. I imagine, though, that if we do 100% this game, there's gonna be a lot of secrets. Because games like this tend to have a lot of secrets. And not just secrets for quills, but secrets for, like, here is a, you know, because in Banjo, Banjo-Kazooie what it was is there was a secret room that you could put in secret codes, and the secret codes would give you stuff. And there's secret puzzles and secret, secret secrets all around. And I want, I want those secrets. I want to like explore 100% the game and then find like a doorway, and the doorway leads somewhere that you don't need to find 100% the game. But it's just like it's, it's puzzles, and maybe there's an item at the end, and you're like, what does this do? And it's like, oh, what does this do? I have to go online. And I have to ask people. Yo, I found this item. It's a magic hat. What does the magic hat do? You know, I, I am hoping that there's some of that in this game. And I'm I'm probably gonna keep playing it a little bit to 100%. I might not record it since we did just finish the game on Shake the Box Plays Ukulele. I've had, I've had a lot of fun playing it too, and I hope you had a lot of fun watching, any of you, those of you who have been watching. I am just gonna wait for the credits to finish scrolling. I feel like that's appropriate. And we're also at the M's. Oh my God, it's gonna take forever though. Oh, there's so many Nathans. Oh my god, why are there so many Nathans in the world? I guess they did have a lot of backers, didn't they? Ukulele, because it's like, hey, uh, here's a Banjo-Kazooie-inspired Banjo game sequel thing. And people are, all, people are like, wow, that's really fun. That sounds awesome. I want it. You know, one game that I haven't played that much of is... Um, or I should say are the Ratchet and Clank games. I've played one of them, and it's one of them for the PS4. It's like Tools of Destruction or something like that. It's the one where you're a, you're a prisoner. I've played that one. I've not played any of the other Ratchet and Clank games, but they kind of seem like they're in the same vein as this. They're not a collectathon necessarily, but they're kind of like a shootathon. You've got these cool cartoon guns and the same types of character interactions because. You've got, um, you got characters who are voiced. They're voiced, right? Everyone's got their own sense of quirky sense of humor. They all play together quite nicely. I want to play some of those games at some point. They're still making them, right? There's a lot of thes. There were a lot of thes. Like, the dude killer. Actually, it wouldn't be dude killer. It would be the lady killer or, like, the dude monger. I don't know. Tyler, Dwight, Valerie, Victor, Vincent, Vladimir, Vladimir, we're at the W's, we're at the Williams, we're at the Billiams, Wise, oh wait, I want to see, I want to see who had Yuka as their name, because I saw it when I was driving by. Yuka and Laylee are a great additions tea. Yuka Laylee lover, ooh. Yuka Laylee rhymes with three, half li life confirmed, I know what he's trying to say, don't worry. Yunt, you, you pookie. 
Yappy. You wanna lay me. <laughs> you wanna lay me. <laughs> I like that one. Zach, Zachary, Zed. Thanks for playing. Do I get an achievement for watching the credits? Go -ho, go -ho. No. There it is. Ukulele done. Now, I am curious what happens when we just go back into it. Got 931 quills. How many quills are in the game? I don't know. I don't know. I want to see what happens. Like, are we now the the leaders of the company? Do we, like, load in the office and it's Yuka and Laylee chair? Nope. We're just right here. Well, that's good, too, I suppose. So I suppose it doesn't necessarily save after you finish the game, but maybe something changes. I don't know. In any case, you know how we should end it is going back to our ship at the beginning of the game and taking a nice little relaxing break. A very much needed vacation as Yuka and Laylee. We'll backtrack and we'll reminisce over the world. All right. I remember this place. The, uh... I mean, we might as well get that page. <laughs> it's right there. I remember this place, the Swamp, Gorlab Swamp, whatever it, was, whatever it was called. I don't remember what the button was for that. Hey, Beiju. Hooray, time to get some grub. All right. All right, there's the Rextro Machines, too, that we need to do. Right outside of this door here on the left. I'm not entirely sure how we're supposed to do that. Oh, no, we can get we can get a Pagey right now, can't we? I just want to go back to the creek, but on the way, we'll collect a couple of things, because there's a Rextro Arcade Machine right here. And if we go right here... Oh, okay. Well, I guess we can't do that. Maybe we can if we jump right before we, we hit it. No, oh, come on. There are still some stuff in this game that we need to figure out how to collect, I suppose. Ooh, can I just use this? Nope. Maybe there's like a super secret hidden move that we need to do. Or maybe what we need to do is just beat up. Or not beat up, but beat all of his games one more time. Which I would not prefer to do. So we're just gonna move on. Yeah, I uh, I enjoyed I enjoyed ukulele. It's been a long time since I played a, a really good kind of collectathon game. That's exactly what this was. I had a pretty good sense of humor and everything, and I am happy with it. Control uh, the. The camera controls do need a little bit of work in some some situations, like when you're rolling down or falling down or sliding down a ramp, it doesn't seem to work all that well. When you are, uh... Yo, I don't know where the secret is here, by the way. The game's telling me there's a secret. I've already been, like, inside his staff. I think I've been up his butt. There's nothing up there. I don't know. Look. There's a secret here. Don't know where it is. Let's leave! Let's go home, Laylee. Yeah, so the camera work needs a little bit of work. I think the enemies don't necessarily need to be invincible or explode and do so much damage to you <laughs> at times. Um, otherwise, good game. Oh, I can't fly! Should be able to fly that. Come on, game. I suppose this is where you get the first HP upgrade if you uh, do come up here. Ah, the underpants for it. Oh, hey! There's a pagey. You just go grab that right now. I don't know how you're supposed to get it without, like, the flying ability, but. Maybe, did I just miss it? I think I just missed it. Oh, that's embarrassing. What else is here? This is one of the save slots right here. 
Oh, they got little color-coded blankets. That's cool. Sonar and pants. Yeah, I can just do it like this. Pants and why you should or shouldn't wear them. I gotta, I gotta find out. Pants and why you should wear them in Sonar Monthly. There's a couple of things that maybe we can look at here. Is there anything to do with this? No, it's just a butterfly farm. Can we talk to Blasto? Because he had nothing to do with the entire game. Hey, Blasto. Yeah, your throat hurts. Yeah, there we go. A yellow newspaper, which there's a hard-hitting cure. Yeah, I figured out that puzzle. Just grab that and pop it in the recycling, would ya? Yeah, sure thing, Blasto. I'll get right on that. Alright. Nice. Get off of my boat! Alright, well. That was Ukulele! Thank you very much for watching! We're done! Subscribe, like, join, all that good stuff, and we'll see you next time on Shake the Box, and... See you then. Goodbye.